Amen. Otherwise, you will not break through. Mm. You see, water, when it breaks through, it forces its way. Mm. It will force its way. Similarly, you know, a chick, when it's being hatched, it keeps on pecking at the shell until the shell breaks and it comes out. So that is how you break through. You keep at it, you get aggressive until you come out. Yeah. The third thing I want to show you is it suggests a protest. This woman was protesting. How did you break through? She didn't like what was happening. Because the order was being reversed. The one who put out his hand first is the one who should have come out first. Now the wrong person has come out first. So she says, I don't like this. But I want to show you something. She didn't like it, but she couldn't stop it. Amen. When you break through, people will protest, but they can't stop it. Yes. People will say whatever they say, but they can't change it. Yes. Because it has happened. It has happened. So the woman was saying, how? I don't like this. It was against her studies at the nursing school. It was against her experience. Maybe the textbooks for midwifery might have to be written. <laughs> this is why she protests. She doesn't like this. How did you break through? How? It was a protest. The fourth thing we notice here is that it suggests that starting does not guarantee that you will arrive first. That most of the times you think that starting will cause you to arrive first. God changes the order. Amen. That the first shall be the last. Amen. And the last shall be the first. Amen. I don't know who I came to encourage. There is somebody here. Your story is about to change. Amen. There is somebody here. God is about to take you from the back to the front. You have been thinking all is wasted. It is not wasted. When God visits you, he will take you from the back to the front. Amen. That is what he does. Think for a minute. I don't know about you, but those of us who are older in this room, think for a minute. The people you went to school with. You used to have people who were very bright. And the teachers would look at them and say, these are the ones who have the future. And the ones who are average, they will say, this one, we don't know. But then, when you look at them, you find that the intelligent ones are nowhere to see. The average ones are the ones in front. So what happened? That's how life is. That's how life is. People you think they will make it, they don't make it. The ones you think will not make it are the ones who make it. May you be the one who makes it. Amen. May you be the one who makes it. Amen. May you be the one who makes it. Amen. The last one, number four, number five. It was beyond human understanding. This woman could not understand what had happened. How did you break? She couldn't understand it. What happened? The Bible says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. And my ways are not your ways. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my thoughts higher than yours. Amen. I have a friend of mine, a bishop, he likes praying for the sick. He's a South African, genuine man of God. So he prayed for this woman. And then he said to her, you're going to have a baby. The woman was very puzzled, looked at him. After the service, she followed. She said, man of God, that prayer is true. <laughs> I want you to know that I don't have a uterus. 
My womb was removed several years ago. So this thing you are saying, I'm going to have a baby, how? Next time you do your prophecies, find it out to the <laughs> My friend went back to God and cried. He said, God, I hate you. Are you aware she doesn't have a uterus? Then <laughs> God said to him that I told you to tell her. I did not ask you to go into the details of how it will happen. Mm. So he went back. He said to her, you trust or no you trust? <laughs> 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 this is what God said. Mm. The one who created a human being also has spare parts for a human being. Oh, yes. You know, I mean, all these cars we drive, don't they have a parts department? So how can God who created not also have parts? So three months later, that man, that woman began feel funny. She began to feel dizzy. She began to vomit. She said, what is this? She went to the hospital. They confirmed that she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. She could not understand it. But it happened. Mm -hmm. Do you know there are a lot of things that we take for granted? Mm -hmm. But we know that we don't understand it. Do you understand how a cow eats green grass and gives white milk? <laughs> Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Well, how many of you have gone to some of these plants where they generate power, electricity? The hydro ones. You go there. I mean, you look at the thing they talk to you, yes, this happens with them. But at the end of the day, you still don't understand. <laughs> but you just enjoy the lights. Mm -hmm. How they come is none of your business. Mm -hmm. There are things you don't understand. When your breakthrough comes, you will not be able to understand it. Yeah. You will not understand it because it is God who gives breakthroughs. Yeah. You will not I remember one time I was driving on one of our streets, Church Road, and I heard clearly the Holy Spirit said, you live living on this street. I said, how? This street has uh, two five-star hotels. How am I going to live here? And there's no clothes which are being sold. How? But God said, he said, you live on this street. So I, you know, I got a bit confused. I asked the man of God, even as pastors sometimes, we get our challenges. I asked the man of God, who is very prophetic, I said, you, if God says you live on the, on the, on the street, what does that mean? He said, it means what he said. <laughs> 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 One year passed, the guy came back. He asked me, are you living on that street? I said, no. He said, forget about it. Look for a plot and build the also. I said, no, but God said, I hate it. To cut the story short, one day, I was coming from the gym. I bought a newspaper. And after reading, I went to look at Judas bag and there was a house being advertised. I just felt again the was saying, ring that number. So that's the number. And uh, the man said to me, there is a better house that's not advertised. So I said, where are you? So I went and picked him up. He gave me directions. We go to number 48 church. No things. My heart jumped. <laughs> I remember the words. You will leave and hear. My problems were not I asked him, where? where? Where is the one of the houses? Oh, he lives far away, 50 kilometers in, in Kafue. 
So I said, let's go. It's, so we drove there. We found the man. He looked at me. He said, Bishop, what brings you? I said, your house. He <laughs> said, Bishop, you are late. A check is being written now in the Ministry of Life. And they are paying me more than what I was selling that. Something inside me. I looked at the man and I said, you will never see that check. In one week, I'm coming for my house. <laughs> The man was puzzled, the one I was with also was puzzled, they <laughs> never seen the lady like that. <laughs> so we broke in silence. The man couldn't say anything. He was still thinking about what happened. One week later, I picked my phone and I said, I'll be going to the States in three days time. Can we sit down and do the paperwork for the sale of the house? Where's your lawyer? So we met at the lawyer. Then when we went to the lawyer, that's when I realized the check never came. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody shouted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying is that you see, with God, all things are possible. How? I know that for you to break through this year, you need to be aggressive about it. Pray aggressive prayers. Have aggressive faith. Do things aggressively. Study aggressively. It requires force. The kingdom of God suffers violence. And the violent take it by force. Amen. It will be Amen. People will protest your breakthrough. Amen. But the good thing is, if they protest, they cannot stop it. Amen. Even if they protest, they can do nothing about it. Amen. I want you to know that it will reverse the order of things. The first will be last. Yes. And the last will be the first. Yes. Lastly, you will not be able to understand it. Even people will not be able to understand it. If you are to break through this year, you need to be focused, purpose driven, and determined. Don't be discouraged by your brothers or sisters who have succeeded before you. Listen, you are still in the game. You are still in the race. Amen. You are still on God's agenda. Amen. God will be able to make a way for you. Amen. Amen. Like water that is trapped, you will be, you will be able to find a way out. Amen. You will break through. Amen. You will surprise many people who protest, but they cannot change anything. Amen. They will not be able to understand you, to understand what has happened, mm -hmm. but it cannot change anything. Mm -hmm. So I want to invite you to stand and we're going to pray. We're going to pray that we pray these prayers pray for your prayers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say, Father, Father, I thank you, I thank you that I have a right to a destiny. That I have a right to a destiny. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Father, Father, this year, this year establish me. Establish me in my destiny. In my destiny. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. That I have a right to a destiny. That I have a right to a destiny. This year, this year, establish me, establish me in my destiny, in my destiny, in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Lift up your voice and pray that I'm going to
my breakthrough. To my breakthrough. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. In Jesus, in Jesus name. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Miracles. 
Let there be open doors. Let there be favor upon your people. And common favor. Supernatural favor. In the name of Jesus. Father, I come against every power of the enemy that has blocked these your people. Every negative word spoken against them. Every curse spoken against them. By the power of the blood of Christ, we nullify those words. Yes. We cancel those words. Yes. And Lord, I release breakthrough now yes. in their lives. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I release favor. Yes. I release favor. Yes. I release favor. Yes. I release favor. Yes. I, yes. I declare that you will be favored at your place of yes. You will be favored in your study. Yes. You will be favored in ministry. Yes. You will be favored wherever you go. Yes. In the name of Jesus, yes. I declare that you move from the back to the front. Amen. I declare that though you have been last, you are about to become first. Amen. I declare that though you were defeated, you are about to be victorious. Amen. I declare by the Spirit of God that this year will not end. There will be a turnaround in your life. Amen. By the mandate of heaven, I seal this thing. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ. Father, blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And everyone shouted, Amen. Amen. I want you to give a high five to three people and tell them I'll break through this. I'll break through this. I'll break through this. I'll break through this.